want to keep track of how my morning Bible basket is evolving. But I'm not sure how I'm going to keep it, like in individual videos or on my blog or on Instagram. I don't know. That's always the challenge is to figure out where to put things. <laughs> but and so then I'm very excited for this book. Reclaim Your Purpose, Peace, and Power, Habits for Healing. I'm not really um, a self-care book reader, but I actually know this amazing author, and I know she has so much goodness to share, and I'm really, really excited to um, tackle some things and build some good habits by walking through every tiny little sliver slash corner of this book, so I'm excited. Um... Then I have my Reader Bible. This is the NIRV, the New International Reader's Version. It's really, really easy to read through, but um, this is also where I keep or build my identity cards. So I have this one in there. I picked up this, I can't even remember where I saw it first, but um, I got this Daily Acts of Gratitude devotional. This is my first day in this devotional and already it's doing what it needs to do. So <laughs> I've got my Flourish Bible. This one has been in there for the last couple months. Again, we just out here trying to grow, friends. And so this is the Bible that I keep track of. Um, my growth. This is the Flourish. I don't even know if you can see that. I don't think you can. But this is the Flourish Bible. Then this is the Bible that I take notes about my purpose and how I'm growing in that. This is the NIV. I think it's an NIV. Artesian Bible. Um, I actually had some leftover tabs from another collection. And I use them on here. So I really like them. I probably need to go ahead and purchase the rest of them. <laughs> but anyway, that one's in there. And then I think I had this, and I don't know if I showed this in the last one, but this is what happens when women say yes to God and walk in faith. Usually I am trying to not just read a book, but like just kind of let it give me a guide for moving through some of the goals that I have. And so that's kind of why I keep these in here. I started this one and didn't make it too far in it, so I just keep it in here to remind me to pick it up when I can. And this um, notebook goes along with um, the last study. And then this is my face planner. Okay, these are just studies that I use for our Wednesday night family Bible study. So I just keep that in the back there. And that is what is in my Bible study basket this morning. I love my little pouch. She's so cute. I'm bringing it out here. The leaves are all crunchy, you guys. <laughs> and I thought I would show you how I'm spending my Bible study morning basket time today. Okay, so I have my basket out here. It has everything that I mentioned, um, with the exception of my everyday Bible and my prayer journal. So I'm just going to try to sit out here and just spend some time using some of the things in this basket. And I thought I would just break it down a little bit further. Some of the things that are bringing me so much joy lately. So this is my little daily setup for the moment because it is so nice out here. It's just like fall at its best. So the first thing I want to do is update my planner. Um, I really haven't been in it much, which I don't love because whenever I am in it, it's very helpful to me. So, I always see people customize um, their dashboards. They kind of call this front space their dashboards. And I love to see people customize it. I usually just keep the same <laughs> things. Uh, but it would be nice to go ahead and kind of switch it up for the season. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that later on. So, in my faith planner, in the back of my faith planner, I have this a sound and disciplined mind so good to me for um, understanding how to renew my mind and keep my mind healthy so
when I first read this book, I purchased the book on my Kindle app. And that is where I did all of my highlighting and really like meditating on what is inside of the book. And it it's really uh, changed me in the best of ways and just given me the guide that I needed to renew in my mind and strengthening my faith. So after reading it a few times, I actually purchased the book. And so what I want to do is go through, reread and also update, just kind of like translate these highlights and the notes that I took in my Kindle app into the actual book so that I have them in both places. After I work my way through a little bit of this book, then I want to move on to my prayer journal. So that is this one here. I just want to get a little bit of prayer writing in just to kind of start my day with giving it to the Lord and inviting the Holy Spirit into my day to help me work through all of the things. So it's just a basic journal, you guys, and I put some tabs on it just in case I want to write out specific prayers for very, very specific things that have kind of more so like timelines to them. Uh, but just for my everyday prayers, they're just stacking them up inside of this notebook. I'm just going to leave them blurred out a bit because they are like very personal, you know, everyday prayers. Just going to get in a little bit of time writing in that. Usually just about like five minutes or so. After that, I move on to just my daily devotion, something super quick. This is the Bible that I use for reading. <laughs> um, I'm actually, this is the new international readers version and I'm trying to do somewhat of a challenge for myself instead of picking up my phone I pick up this Bible to read so this is the Bible that I use for that it's a nice compact size I love the color I love the feel the texture and I love my tabs on it and it just makes me want to pick it up which is always always a plus and so I'm just gonna grab my my daily acts of gratitude devotional that just has a little bit of a snippet of, a, of someone else's story and then just a focus for like an actual action of gratitude for the day. I really love and appreciate that so that is the next thing that I do. Just go to the date that it has listed, read the devotion, and um, put the act of gratitude on my calendar for the day. I actually only use this to say yes to God and walking in faith. I'm trying to use this on Wednesdays, like a Wednesday night type of Bible study. Um, so that is when I pull that out. I think at the end of my homeschool day, I can get in a little bit of reading this. And I'm going to be taking notes with this in the Bible that I have to track my growth. Um, so this is the Flourish Bible that I showed you earlier, and this is where I keep the notes for that. Usually just putting a post-it um, in on a scripture that I feel led to, and that is how these two kind of go together. And then the last set that I have, um, I keep my notes for the Sound and Discipline Mind in this notebook here. And this Bible I bring out um, to read and take notes through whenever I am doing anything related to purpose. Um, mainly right now I have been using it to take notes and keep track of whatever the Lord is telling me concerning YouTube and Instagram and my blog and content creation and just the creative way, like with the creative side of homeschool life. I do have a separate Bible that I go to and that I keep track of homeschool specific things. Um, but as far as like the creative side of homeschool life, the things that are very specific to Serena, to me, and what he wants me to do in this space, um, I have been keeping this Bible next to me when I'm editing, when I get frustrated and I need to wait for something to load or something is getting stuck or I'm getting stuck. I just try to keep this Bible near me just to keep track of whatever the Holy Spirit is um, 
telling me to go to or to think about or to meditate on. Um, that is what I keep these at hand for. So that is the rest of what is in here. And I hope this helps. I don't want to be too chatty and I also haven't gotten to the space where I can do my actual study and just kind of have the camera along because I do want to just kind of immerse myself in whatever the Holy Spirit is doing with my day but I thought I would walk you through um, the things that are bringing me joy and how I am using them and creating like just moments throughout the day um, and peace to, you know, just maintain peace in my day. The last thing I didn't really talk about, I kind of moved to the side over here, was my, my everyday Bible. So I'm currently still working my way through reading the Bible from cover to cover. And I have been enjoying it. I reached a little bit of, I don't know if it's a roadblock. It's just, I haven't been working through it as well as I was when I started. And I figured that this would come and that's okay. But I've been working from Genesis to Revelation in this Bible. This is my everyday Bible, the Charles F. Stanley Life Principles Bible. I know it's very similar, I guess. It's along the lines of the, what is the name of that Bible? Oh, the Life Application Bible that people love so much. And I remember the Life Application Bible. My mom had it uh, growing up. And so I like that Bible, but this Bible has been everything to me. It has like the principles that um, Dr. Charles Stanley has worked through in his lifetime walking with the Lord. And it just is so nostalgic to me. My mom listened to Dr. Charles Stanley. My grandmother still listens to Dr. Charles Stanley. So um, the way that he's laid out life principles and um, weaved them throughout the pages of this Bible is just I mean, it just doesn't get better <laughs> for me. Uh, but this is the Bible that I use for working my way through uh, Genesis uh, to Revelation. So what I found is I used to get my reading in in the early morning before I started my day with this Bible. But I have found that it's actually better for me just to keep this Bible next to me and work my way through it little bit by little bit all throughout the day. I know that it, it seems best to have like specific quiet time to work the way, work your way through the Bible. But for me, um, it has been really helping guide my days to just go ahead and start it in the morning, whatever reading I have planned for the day, and then just work my way through it throughout the rest of the day. And so I really like doing that. That has been so helpful to me. So that is the way that I have been working my way through reading this Bible. And I usually just have my highlighters. <laughs> I have all my highlighters next to me. Um, I don't have a color code system for um, highlighting in this Bible because really, uh, I just try to separate notes uh, like I try to join notes with the highlighted colors and then I just alternate yep so that's what I do that, that is what I do with this Bible and that is what I do with my Bible time some days I get more of it done than others, but this is kind of the plan and I keep track of all of that inside of my faith planner of which I ha like I said I haven't been in in the last few weeks so I want to update things maybe have a little fun with it um, redo the dashboard a bit for fall because we are still in fall friends I know everybody is getting prepared for Christmas and I'm very excited about Christmas but the way I'm enjoying my fall right now yeah I, I wouldn't trade it that is it friends thank you so much for watching this video life is so very full of lessons and our goal as always is to live and to learn and I will see you in